Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and I want to thank you all for coming here. I want to just tell you guys I really love that you've all been there. I really love everything you've told me so far. I really love your comments. I really love everything you're sharing with me. Uh, I find myself having this urge to keep on posting more and more videos, longer and longer videos, but I realize as well that I don't want to overwhelm you all. I want to... Uh, no, that's the thing. I've realized that I'm not addicted to making videos. I'm addicted to the community. I'm addicted to the people, uh, to the comments, to the replies, to the shares, to the messages, to the people I get in touch with through making these videos and from the things you teach me. As I set up my Discord and as I started getting in contact with everyone and starting connecting with them more deeply, I only fell in more in love with the community and I've uh, only gotten more inspiration since and now I feel like I want to make videos every minute of my waking life almost. I sometimes wonder about making more live streams, I'm sometimes uh, wondering about uh, things like that. I also want to write for you, I also want to share books and articles and I also want to do research and I also want to make sure that I can keep posting up new amazing content and qu high quality content. So that's the balance I have to keep. And now you might all be wondering, how am I able to do this? How can I keep on posting a video every day? Don't I have work? Don't I have other things to do? And truth is, I don't. This is my full-time thing. This is what I've been pouring myself into for the last six months. I've taken a huge risk, a huge leap of faith going into this community. And I never envisioned myself making money off YouTube videos. I thought that was just going to be a side thing, a way to grow my channel, a way to grow my uh, writing. But... It became the big thing, it became what uh, everyone uh, liked, it became what everyone uh, was drawn to, and uh, it became the most fun thing, it became the most enriching thing. I never imagined that happening, but it happened. And now we're sitting here, like, almost 2,200 people, and uh, I'm rapidly becoming one of the grow biggest YouTubers and MTI. And um, I did never envision that happening in just six months. I never thought any of this would be possible. Uh, people might ask themselves, is it possible to make a living out of YouTube? And I think that maybe, yeah, if I hit 10,000 subscribers, I think it's possible. I think, yeah, um, I'm already starting to be able to uh, sail this ship because I'm also doing co coaching, I'm also doing typing requests, I'm also writing and selling books and articles. So I'm getting there, I'm getting further, I'm getting uh, closer to a manageable situation. And if anyone's wondering, yes, it's true. I've had some really difficult months. I've had some months where I've really not been, not been sure if I would make it. I've had some times with lentil stew. I've had some times with uh, water and bread. And I've pushed myself to keep on doing it because I kept seeing that in the future I think it would be possible. If I just pushed myself a little harder, if I just thought a little more about it, if I just get, went a little deeper... And um, I think the reason I've been growing, and I think that uh, there's been an issue in MTI. And an issue is that the MTI has had low practical applicability. Uh, it's had little use for personal development and for personal growth purposes. And it's had uh, little connections to modern psychology and to modern neuroscience. So the thing I've been doing that uh, is different from everyone else and that is original is that... I've shifted the definition of your personality type to your flow type. I've said that your personality type is who you are at your best. So if you're not at your best, you might not be in touch with your personality type. I've said that uh, your personality type is connected to neuroscience and to neurobiology. And I have shared perspectives of how neurobiology and neuroscience connects the personality type. I've shown that body language has connections to personality type and that uh, because we think differently about the world, we also express ourselves differently and we gesture differently because we perceive information differently. I've said that uh, the MBTI has to move on from traditional limiting stereotypes and to look deeper. And uh, I've said that the MTI needs to move away from jargon, from technical jargon, from cognitive function labels into truly meaningful perspectives beneath it. We get so attached to labels, we get so attached to the types, but we keep on forgetting what they mean and what uh, it means to be happy and what it means to us and what it means to who we are and what we need to do to be happy. So I think that's the key to why I've grown and what I've done right. And I will be fair with you, I think I've done so many things wrong as well, so I'm not perfect there at all. 
And I want to be even more fair and share that, well, most of the things I'm saying is not really me, it's uh, other people. I read a lot, I read so many books about uh, personality psychology, I read and study the Enneagram, I study Socionics, I study the MPTI, I study all theories, the big five, neuroscience, I study everything. I'm a sponge of information for all of these things, and I'm a sponge of your com this community, and it's your comments, your questions that are creating and shaping this channel. Uh, everything you're telling me is what uh, drives me and pushes me into the next video. The next video might be written by you because of something you shared in your comments. The next video might be something you said about, uh, shared in Discord. Something that just hit me, and something that made me think, oh yeah, right, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Uh, you're all putting me in this good mental frame, this amazing mental frame, where I feel like I have endless, infinite inspiration. And uh, really all I'm doing is connecting all good ideas, synthesizing all of the different perspectives, and blending them all together, and finding ways forward. And I think we have been stuck in this uh, swamp of, well, everyone has different definitions. Uh, but I think that... Uh, what I want to do is get past that. I want to show that... Some definitions are better than others. Some definitions mean more than others. Some definitions are more vague than others. And I want to sh show that uh, the right perspective is the perspective that means the most to growth, to health, to personal development. And uh, that the best perspectives, the best, best definitions are the ones that are going to have the most practical validity, the most practical applicability. And that way I think we can really move forward. And that way I think... Uh, I see a big revolution happening for the whole world of psychology. And I want to give people back for everything they give me. And I want to have this as a kind of mutual high five. I want to have everything happening here as a mutual high five. Uh, I don't want it to be just you high fiving me, I want it to be me high fiving you back. And that's why everything you give me, you give to get something back. You donate two dollars, you get a high five. You donate five dollars, you get. Uh, the full access to my Discord channel and uh, to uh, unique roles, and colors, and everything on the chat and forum. Uh, Ten dollar donation, you get uh, the right to find out your personality type and your subtype if you send me a video. Twenty dollars, and you get the right to exclusive access to articles and content and writing and books before anyone else. And if you ever need any help with anything, just Say hello. I love to help other YouTubers get started making videos. I love to help other communities grow. I love to help anyone who's interested in getting out there and into making a difference and into starting and being a part of this movement of modern typology, of modern psychology.